thank you everybody for coming in today for this special occasion to present an award to somebody who means a lot to me in my life. I'm sure many of you have two of these people in your life that mean a lot to you, and I'm going to explain why to you, why I'm presenting this award to them. First one is this individual taught me how to drive. I remember being, you know, 13, 14, not even 16 years old yet, over in the of Oregon at their property learning how to drive in their Jeep. You know, it was a fun old car, but there are a lot of miles put on it because this person drove it a lot. Kind of like any used car we get, there's always tons of miles and usually pretty beat down, as was the case for this car. But it was a lot of fun, and one of the, he was one of the first person to taught me how to drive, and that's how I learned a lot of the driving skills that I have. Second one is this individual taught me how to have a good work ethic. Whenever I visited him, there was always at least one project to work on. You know, of course, he is the one who would always start a project, even if he didn't finish the previous one. So then you have a list of projects going on. But going up there, we'd always have something to do, and he'd always show me how to do it, you know, in the best way possible, and just how to work hard and not do something with a lack of effort. Um, yeah, you know, that's one other thing he said, don't put 50% effort and just not give your full effort to something because he's told me and taught me, you know, why waste your time for something if you're really not going to get much out of it. And then last but not least, what I really like about him is that he always sacrifices his time for me. Now, of course, family members, that's usually what they should do is be able to give up their time for you. But this person in my life, he always gave up his time no matter what. And one example is younger, when I was younger in elementary school, I only played football for one year. And it was only a kicker, so it wasn't like, oh, it was some special position or anything cool like that. But you know, he always came to my games, he'd always watch him, and even on the kickoffs, every time I was done with my game, he'd tell me you know, how far I kicked it this time or how far I kicked it that time and things like that. And another example, a perfect example, I think, of giving up time was my first, very first year of college. Uh, it wasn't here in Portland State, but it was down in Arizona, and um, this person volunteered their time, and we made a fun road trip all the way down to Arizona in about three days, and once we got down there, um, you know, it was just, it was a fun trip and something that I really treasured with this person. Um, and to, to conclude, there are many reasons we admire or look up to somebody. And in my case, you know, I admire this person uh, because they taught me how to drive, they taught me great work ethic, and most of all, they always devote their time um, to me. Uh, this person, I would like to present the award to my grandpa. The award is the best grandpa. Um, you brought a positive impact on my life, taught me useful life skills, and have helped guide me to be the person that I am today. So I thank you, or without you, I don't know where I would be, and so I thank you and will always cherish every moment with you, so I would like to present this imaginary award here to you for being the best grandpa.